Well, hello there, my YouTube family. It's me here doing a video. Um, I decided to give you guys an update on what's going on in my fish tanks. And unfortunately, we do have some sad news. We had uh, lost a male betta fish that I got from Chicago some years ago. If it would have lasted September, I would have had it two years. But I got to consider it was already an adult when I when I won him. I had one too, but one died last year. I think around January. And this one, this one died this year in February. So... Yeah, it's a lot going on right now. But anyways, I got my mystery snails in here, and they're doing pretty good. Um, I'm going to not getting any more betta fish right now. I want to do something different. I want to get some um, shrimp in here because I never actually had shrimp before. And I see a bunch of people that got cool color fish tanks in their fish tanks. And, um, and I got the five mystery snails. So I think if I pop this tank with some colorful shrimp, It'll make it really exciting. So I am thinking about doing that with this fish tank and eventually. Because I know I could because I knew if I would have did it with the betta, the betta usually eat them. So since he passed, I'm just gonna get some think I'm gonna get some shrimp now. And the snails are very active, which I'm super stoked about. I love snails, y'all. I could just watch this. That's just golden one. This is the only golden one I have. The rest of them are all the... I mean, I love all my snails, don't get me wrong, but the golden mystery snails are just like my favorite. And here is my cat in heat. Ooh, I'm going to have to get her fixed when she gets out of heat. Doing it in heat costs me an arm and a leg, so I have to wait. And I read about it. It can take 7 to 21 days, so we will see. And she's bad at night. And there are also some live plants in here. And then I also got some, some calcium balls in here that helps with the shells of the snails and crustaceans. So I'll probably end up getting more of that when I get snails in here. But yeah, I got those in here as well. But then I'm going to show you guys this tank right here, which is my Molly and Platy tank. It is doing pretty good, but... Unfortunately, we did lose one male platy. Um, I'm not platy, excuse me. Molly, not platy, Molly. We did lose one male. So now we got the one female. She's an OG because she's been here. She's been here longer than any of these fishes. So, and she's still kicking butt. So that's my female Molly right there. I call her my OG because she's been with me for a what minute. But then, of course, I got the platy fish, the female platy, and then there's a male platy still in there. And then a bunch of baby mollies, and then I got three baby platies right there. And they're all just swimming away good, so these two tanks is... And then I also got nearite snails in here with these guys. Which one is on a, on a container right there? On a the container, listening. My English, y'all, my English. On the fish tank. But anyways, I decided to let you guys um, know what is going on in my fish tanks. Um, I did lose two recently, so and those things happen, you know. But um, yeah, I'm thinking about getting some shrimp because, like I said, for this tank, I never had shrimp before, so I think that'd be a neat project to start with these snails since they're both pretty harmless. And I have been, I do still feed this tank like fish food and all that because these mystery snails do like to eat so heck yeah there's one right there that's the different coloration like i said i got five in here and then i got three near right snails in there which the big one is back there and i also got some of the balls in here for the for the um gosh what do you call these snails not near right snails sorry guys i can't get my words out today I think that's every day though. And I also got some live plants in this one as well. And I can watch these fish tanks all day, y'all. I really can. I really, really can. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get off here now. Um, I just wanted to show you, tell you guys some of the sad news as well as the fish tank. And then some positive news that I'm planning on doing with these fish tanks now. But anyways, I don't think I'm going to do nothing else to this one. If I did, I'll probably get some liar tail mollies because those are really beautiful. But anyways, if you like these type of videos, pets and plants, please feel free to like, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you ain't already, and please hit the notification bell so you get every single video as soon as they come out. And also, please hit the like button as it does help out with the channel because I am trying to grow this channel because, you know, 
I want to get in, you know, I want more people to get into nature and then I like nature and we all could just connect together. That would be awesome. But anyways, stay safe, stay blessed. Goodbye.